everyone, this is Surbhi Goyal from Easy Learning with Surbhi. Ah, I'm smiling a lot because I'm quite excited about this video. Let me tell you, I uploaded the vlog few days ago which is called CCLF. Basically, it's Chandigarh Children's Literature Festival which is held only and only in my daughter's school. So there I got an opportunity to meet Mr. Devashish Makhija. Now, who is Mr. Devashish Makhija? He is a filmmaker, he's a script writer, children's book writer, storyteller and so many more roles and basically we can call him a juggler and uh, despite having a hectic schedule he made his precious time to sit with me and help you all uh, like by telling his life experiences and he also talked that how he still feels when he's on the stage and uh, how he's able to learn many languages. So all the secrets he has revealed in this video so I could make uh, some time to have a chit chat with him and I hope you will love this conversation. Make sure you watch this video till the end and also do write me in the comment section that what kind of videos you want me to bring up for you and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because later on I have a surprise for all of you later after few days not now after few days I'll come up with that surprise meanwhile watch this video listen to this interview very carefully and you will find your answers in this conversation so keep watching So hello everyone, my name is Surbhi Goyal. As you know, I'm from Easy Learning with Surbhi. I'm very excited because today I'm here with a very famous writer. Uh, well, you know, most of the people, they have this problem that they consume a lot of English content and yet they are not able to speak English confidently. So right here, a uh, very famous writer. So he's going to tell something about his life and he's going to tell, give you some tips related to that. So. Uh, a, I'm not famous. Yeah. I just write. But you, uh, my name is Devashish Makicha and I've written a bunch of children's books, including We Are the Dancing Forest, which is there at CCLF this year, and uh, When Ali Became Bajrang Bali, yeah. and a lot of other writing as well. I yeah. published a novel, a young adult novel called Oonga. So, uh, I mean, I'm a man of words, so language is my primary mode of communication. But uh, to be honest, I, I sometimes feel that relying on language, uh, whether it's English or uh, whether it's a mother tongue or a tongue that's adopted, this relying on language sometimes doesn't really carry your ideas across cultural, national and, uh, you know, b boundaries that are man-made because mm -hmm. there are so many languages in the world. There are so many languages in India alone. And sometimes I feel that being uh, being an English writer, I'm very, I love the language. I've spent all my life trying to express myself in the best way possible in this language, but I still feel like my hands and feet are tied because there are things that I want to say and sometimes they don't feel true enough in the English language because my stories are from the Indian ethos, are about Indian issues, are about issues in regions and every region, every state of India has a, such, a, such a unique and different culture. So English doesn't do it justice. So I have a very conflicted relationship with the the language that I express myself in. Actually, uh, actually, sir, as we know that nowadays there are so many channels on YouTube who are teaching English. And I have seen learners who uh, personally they send me emails that they, they watch so much videos based on English language, but yet they are not able to speak. So what do you think what they can do to improve their English speaking skills? Basic tips would you like to give? So, you know, like with a with someone who wants to be a cricketer or someone who wants to be a filmmaker, you just have to do. Like for cricket, you just need to get to the nets and play eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. If you got to be a filmmaker, like a lot of young filmmakers come to me and say that, sir, I want to be a filmmaker. I'm like, just pick up a camera, go yeah. shoot something. Today you have cameras on every phone. Mm -hmm. So with English, uh, you might have a lot of tutorials on YouTube. You might have a lot of tutorials that you go to where people teach you in person. But things like language and uh, just 
learning to live with one another and communicate with one another and living with uh, nature are not things that people can teach you you just need to keep doing so yeah, i think so the i believe you mean that speaking just speaking, speak yes speaking find find each other even if two people are both trying to learn the language just speak every day mm-hmm. there is nothing i believe there's nothing you can mm-hmm. not learn if you just do it every day mm-hmm. i'm not a trained filmmaker i'm not a trained writer either i was studying to be an economist and then i quit that to be a crime journalist then i quit that to be an architectural designer then i quit that to be 20 things before i landed oh. here i just keep doing keep doing keep doing till i think i find some sort of control over what i'm trying to do okay so so while you were trying to do all of this didn't you feel like giving up because uh, you were not trying to reach to that point where you wanted to So how was that uh, time period when you were trying your hard in different streams and yet you were not able to find your type of work so how was that you are talking about it in the past tense it is still relevant there are still days there are things that i came to do that i haven't been able to do okay. i wanted to publish a lot more books by this age i wanted to have made a lot more films by this age mm-hmm. i haven't achieved any of that so that feeling of not being able to have done as much as you wanted to do for an artist is a lifelong uh, feeling of disappointment we we'll, though because what we want at least i'll speak for myself because my stories try to raise questions mm-hmm. i try to raise socio political questions with all my stories and those are stories that the world does not want mm-hmm. because we are we all have our own struggles every day yeah. do we really want to be asked questions through something that we are trying to entertain ourselves through mm-hmm. no we just want to forget the real world problems mm-hmm. but True. through my stories i keep trying to scratch wounds i keep trying to poke mm-hmm. i keep trying to question things so this is not what the world wants so i'm always up against obstacles i'm always up against publishers who want me to tone down my story want me to write things that they have come up with as a writer for hire but i keep refusing those offers so it's a lifelong struggle i'll never i don't think i'll ever be happy oh okay and uh, <clears throat> sir in my videos like i keep telling my uh, learners that they should write they should uh, write something to improve their english speaking skills so what do you think what kind of uh, things they can write daily and what do you think how writing skills can help them improve their english and communication skills writing really is an extension of speaking is an extension of thought so even if someone does not want to be a professional writer in life if you just want to master this medium of communication in our case english because you're speaking about english writing is just i mean it's like exercising every day it's like exercising that craft mm-hmm. speaking with another person is one way but writing is like speaking with yourself yeah. so it's like you putting your thoughts on paper and then reading it so you're having a conversation with yourself so that is part of the process i my anyone who wants to master that medium of language i think writing is probably better than speaking to another person because your yeah. your thoughts start getting exposed and all the cracks start showing when you're talking to yourself but i feel that right uh, that i feel writing is the beginning to learn any language because you know while writing you can get time to think about the words and then you can write and later you can start practicing in your speech and sir i saw that play everything uh, that ma'am performed that play and how you narrated the story so it was you were full of confidence so may i know that you were born confident person or you uh, learned this with time like how is it <laughs> like i said cricket someone who wants to be a confident cricketer 8 hours of net practice every day we've yeah. rehearsed this every day for the last 2 weeks mm-hmm. so it's not confidence it's just practice we just practice so much that we knew what mm-hmm. our beats were because without practice i don't have the confidence my hands and feet go cold especially in front of youngsters because youngsters they they are unfiltered and if you're boring them or if something not making sense they'll call you out right there so i get very scared when i'm communicating with or performing in front of young people so we really practiced it's not confidence it's practice it's practice it's just so, practice 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 so you mean that only practice can make any person perfect so even if you want to be confident you want to be good at any language practice is practice. the key and speaking is the key thank you so much for giving your precious time sir thank you so much aur bahut sara prashan khana kaise ki likha are wah oh ho ye hum hum roz laenge prabhu हम रोज लेकर आएंगे आपके लिए काहे की पेड़ सलामत तो
He saw that Mr. Moochwala had saved the tree. He was not going to cut it. It was a bright morning, but wait a minute. Again in the morning, Ugni was wide awake, the night owl. But he looked happy.